Okay, today we're going to show you a slow speed kit for a Shopsmith 10ER. This is a 1952 model. It's all original. And I pulled the pulley guards off just so you can see what we're dealing with here. It's got a factory speed changer and we're going to demonstrate it's set on the low range and we'll try to get to its lowest RPM range using a digital tachometer. Over here, I'll try to zoom in. To the right is the slow speed kit. To the left is a standard pulley, headstock pulley. And then I have a lower pulley guard and an upper pulley guard. We're going to demonstrate this and see if we can get enough, uh, you can get a reading on the change of speed here. I'm going to fire it up. See if we can make that out. I'm showing 1360 RPMs, 1361. And I'll start cranking it down. It's about 595, 596. And I'm getting about 440 right here. Okay, this is the slow speed kit mounted. And just to give you a quick idea on it, it's going to slow uh, slow those ranges down right where you need it for roughing in stock, big bowls, or starting to work on some larger pieces. Maybe you want to turn some larger diameter columns or what have you. This is also shown without the, the cover on it. Just for an example, you don't want to run this without this pulley cover on it at any time. I've also shown it without the special purpose tool SBT adapter hub. What's nice about it, if you have it, you just put it on and tighten it up. It's mounted flush to the pulley. Um, as you also notice, I kind of keep a little bit of slack on both top and bottom. That's more than sufficient. And uh, there's a lot of grip with this type of a belt. This is a cog type belt very well gripping to it and it's all everything here is made in the United States so we're gonna give it a sample run here and then I'll do a, a tachometer reading to see if you guys can read that all right we're running at the higher speed not sure we can get a reading on that Right now I'm showing about 700 and 705 RPM, 704, and we will reduce that. Right now I'm about 519. Now we're down about 325, 321. This is getting about 200, 247 RPM. We're probably bottoming out here. We're getting it down in that 
214 RPM, 213 to 11. So that gives you an abundant amount of torque. It's really a nice slow running speed, 208 RPM. I'm not sure if I can, if you notice that reflective mark on the, the chuck that gives you an idea how slow that is. You got more than ample torque. So I'm gonna stop it and I'll put the SPT adapter on it and show it to you what it looks like with the shield on it. Okay, we've got the cover on. We also show the SPT mount hub. We're gonna crank it up here. And everything clears. You get this pretty good clearance around it. This is all stainless steel. It's not painted, it was media blasted, and we put a shoot of clear coat on it. You may want to paint it to match your machine. We'll leave that up to you. I'm not sure if we can see that. Try to get an angle here. You can get a good readout on it. That's showing about 412. I'll bring it down. Get out of the glare here. Okay, I'm showing about 213 RPM, 212. I mean, that's really just beautiful speed if you want to rough in something and you feel comfortable with the chisel, something bigger, but and you get some flexibility with it. You can also use this setup is really ideal for large boring horizontal boring or in the drill mode lastly I'd like to point out a couple other reasons for the slow speed it's much easier on your headstock bearings and there's minimal heat Everything's much slower turning, everything remains cool, and it's much easier on your operation when you're using your chisels, working with a larger piece, roughing in. It's just a, an ideal way to do it, more cost alternative method of getting your speed reduced versus uh, other means. This is again only for the factory speed changer. Uh, I am coming out with a low cost way, it'll have a jack shaft kit. So for those who can't find a rare speed changer or perhaps who has a broken one, it'll be a nice retrofit kit. It'll be very com much compatible with the slow speed kit, plus give you the full range of what the factory unit does. So please look for that coming soon. Thanks.